in a certain mountain village in Europe several centuries ago, so. The story goes, a nobleman wondered what legacy to leave his townspeople. At last he decided to build them a church. Nobody saw the complete plans until the church was finished. When the people gathered, they marveled at its marvelous beauty. But one person noticed an incompleteness. Where are the lamps? He asked. How will the church be lighted? The nobleman smiled. Then he gave each family a lamp. Each time you're here, the area in which you sit will be lighted. But when you're not here, some part of God's house will be dark. Some clever nobleman that was. Don't you think? Today we live in a world of darkness, a darkness in which even our secular problem solvers are beginning to stumble. In spite of our social conscience, all around us is evidence of ignorance, illiteracy, and dark imaginings. Romans 2 verse 19 tells us that we, as Christians, are a light for those who are in the dark. But the world is so big, you might say, and our lamp is so small. Yes, but I believe we can still light up some small part each day. After all, look at the star-struck heavens. Have you ever noticed how small each star looks in the distance? Yet put together those. Tiny jewels can light the darkest night. Not one of those little lights of heaven is ever miss ing, or else the heavens would be less bright. I believe each of us is like a star, or a lamp if you will. And yes, I am convinced that we can make this world a better place. It all begins with the desire expressed in Michelangelo's prayer. God, grant me the desire always to desire to be more than I can ever accomplish. This day I encourage you to let God light your lamps with his fire, the Holy Spirit, and to allow him to send you in a new direction today. Perhaps you might meet someone who needs you today. Put on a bright face whether you feel it or not. I guarantee you that gladness will come. Do you remember at the beginning of the story what the nobleman said to the Khan? Gregation? You too have a great opportunity to let your light shine for Christ. When each of you choose to be actively involved in your school and in your church, your school and church will shine the brightest. May each of you shine your brightest during this school year.